And it's going to be interesting how they get through this, because if they're helping people that were hurt by the ignition switch, what about the other people that were hurt in other vehicles prior to their bankruptcy? That's the, the, the eye to the needle they have to, they have to go through to, to come out of this not unscathed, but uh, in a survivable way. It's not a given the GM will survive this. Yeah, this is uh, still going on, obviously, and, uh, and again, which is also interesting to see what happened then, but right now, I mean, wh what has caught my attention recently is like cells, at least for now, uh, are not affected. On the other, I mean, completely the opposite. People are like, almost like the new people who come in to buy new cars, almost not affected by this. What, what's your take on that? Why do you think that happens? Why do you think customers don't pay attention to some things and some others they do? Uh, they got busy lives. Um, I, I will say also that cars have become more basic transportation than they were 20 years ago. There's not as much passion about buying a car, but people still want a car, but there's not as much passion, so they don't pay attention to the issues. Um, as the, I, I hear on conservative radio, there's a lot of low information voters out there. Uh, I, I go back to the crisis we were in in the mid 90s when airbags um, were, they were afraid that kids were going to be killed because of dual airbags. Yeah, I remember that. And uh, USA Today said, projected two kids a week were going to be killed. Well, we put out, and I'm very proud of this, it was a program that went into every private and public elementary school in the country. It was called The Back is Where It's At. And we used Bill Nye, the science guy, and we made this video trying to convince kids 